If you're a Rangers fan and you think that the league is over, no need to fear, because Chris Sutton, beloved Celtic fan and player, thinks it ain't going back to fog football. And it ain't going to be comforting this bit of uh, news here for Chris Sutton, because he's gave two reasons, dos reasons, why the title fight is still alive and how Rangers can still win the league. As he apparently he borrows Chris Boyd's playbook. Is there going to be soft, hard, scrambled analogies in here? I'm not too sure, but I mean, yeah. I mean, I've made it pretty clear that it's all over. Uh, I think, guys, this. I think Rangers need it to be ahead going into that old farm. They're not, and it's pretty much dead and buried the chances of the title. But uh, this is what Chris Sutton said. He said, basically, nobody saw that coming. Least of all, Philip Clement. With the way they finished against Celtic, I was astonished by the real lack of intensity from the performance, especially after a first half where they were so insipidated. Um, again, I don't think it was shocking to see Rangers play that bad. Uh, again, like, you look at the Celtic game, it was a tale of two halves. Like, we can say Rangers were poor first half, and they were. It was the worst I've seen them this season, especially on Old Firm. Um, Celtic were bad in the second half as well. I think it was, you know... Both teams took advantage of the other team not playing so well. Um, but again, it's a title fight. You would expect Rangers to be up for this Ross County game, and they won. There was not a period in this game where Rangers looked good. You know, if you actually look at like the chances that Rangers did create, right? It wasn't team based, it was individually based, man. You know, like a lot like Doyle made a run in that first half. I think it resulted in a corner. Dessers made a run, then Cantwell took the ball off him and forced to save it at Laidlaw. Um, there was a few crosses, can't deny that, like the corner led to the goal. Um, I believe it was Tavit whipped the ball in, it cracked off Seema's, like his back region and it almost beat Laidlaw. But there wasn't good play for the Angels, it was like moments of individuality that created anything, to be honest. Um, and it, I don't know what it is, it just feels like the balloon has burst. And I think it burst when Rangers get beat by Motherwell 2-1. I, I think that is when it truly burst. I do. Um, we're, we're looking at what the 2nd of March that game was on. It, uh, that, to me, is the turning point of this season. Ever since then, Rangers have not been right. You know, they went and drew against Benfica. Again, should have won. I mean, decisions and awful defending Conor Goldson again. We'll be on his name a lot. Uh, went against us in that game. But again, I think going to Europe was a blessing for Rangers because I mean imagine all these other games postponements with done. I mean how would the Dundee game have been fit in by the way actually if, if Rangers were in Europe could you imagine that conundrum it would have been an absolute you just wouldn't have been able to fit it in uh, Chris Sutton did go on and say they go in front and you think they're not going to let this go but Ross County came out and got a couple of goals they carried a real threat to Rangers and they go 3-1 ahead it's a bad bad day for Rangers Um but he, but he also goes on to rule out the title being taken to the blue half of Glasgow. He stated that a win at Celtic Park and some additional twists in the Premiership tail could see James Tavernier lift the trophy come the end of the campaign. I mean, you know, I don't think Celtic, right, are going to win every game. But I, the Rangers are not going to better them. That's what I fear. Even, you know, best case scenario for Rangers, obviously you can win six games, right? But... Even if you win five and draw one, it, it's and and talking about the one at Celtic Park, it's it's just it's the past two months of cost Rangers, man. You, you can't be losing at home to Motherwell. I was there. That was pish. That was, it was it was garbage. I thought it was a blip, but the more you looked at it, it's two wins out of seven, man. That is that's awful for him. It is, and yeah, two games are against Benfica. There's a game against Celtic in there. There's also a game against Motherwell and Ross County in a title fight. There's just there's no excuses for that for me. There, there just ain't. You need to be winning those games. You know, you forget about the... But you look at Manchester United. I believe they're 1-1 one, one out of 7. And look at the state they're in. Ten Hag's head's going to be on the chopping block. Again, not calling for Clement to be sacked. If anything, should be given a bloody, you know, a war medal for what he's done. But again... He's got us into this position. I do think recently some of his calls have been poor. But, I mean, he's the guy that got us in this at the end of the day. Sutton then went on to say, it is so tight. 
and it's still in their hands, but they have to go away to Celtic Park and probably win. I still think there will be a couple of twists and turns, but I think they will have to beat Celtic at Celtic Park. I mean, I think Rangers getting a draw at Celtic Park, the way they're playing is so unlikely, right? But <sighs> this is the other way about, man. It's horrendous, it really is. And, you know, it, I think Celtic have been bad this season, but I do think me mentally they are stronger. But Rangers had a real opportunity to put the pressure on Celtic. And, yeah, Celtic let the lead slip, but look, they took it back, man, with ease. Rangers, where's the pre Anytime Rangers should be putting the pressure on Celtic, man, their arse goes. It's like the Motherwell game. See, going into that weekend, it was, oh, man, Celtic lose to Hearts and Rangers, uh, Rangers beat... But no one even thought about Rangers getting beat to Motherwell that weekend. I remember it, man. It was like... Oh, Rangers win, and everyone fought. And I'm not even joking. Like, pre, uh, it was probably one of the weekends where everyone was like, "Oh, that they're going to beat Celtic." What? And they did, but it's a shame how it just did not matter because it just cancelled the other out. And obviously, yeah, you know, it obviously helped Celtic losing to Hearts when Rangers get beat by Motherwell. But that's when it, that's when Rangers needed to build a gap, man. They did. They haven't. And again, obviously, mathematically, it's no over. And it won't be for a decent period of time, but I think anyone with a brain cell knows that this Rangers team doesn't have what it takes. It, it, we're relying on Celtic fucking up rather than ourselves. And I just think Celtic are going to have enough to go over the line. They've, they've got all their key players back at a great time of the season. And I, I'm not using injuries as, as an excuse. I'm not. It's pathetic. I'm not using the Duck the Dens Park as an excuse. I, I don't like that. I mean, Clement trying to, oh, it's messed up our training schedule. Fuck the training schedule, man. Be, you know... It, well, Ross Curry worked harder than us. It wasn't even a case of talent because if it's a case of talent, Rangers win every day of the week. But you need to work hard. And if you're not willing to work hard to win a title, then what are you going to work hard to? I've seen people already going, oh, but if we win the Scottish Cup and the League Cup, it's been a great season. Has it? No. Because we got ourselves but we got ourselves in the pole position to win in this league. You know, a month ago, we were talking about the quadruple. Fast forward. It's like, fuck, are we going to be able to scrape two cups this season? Come on, can't let Celtic do three in a row, but we have, and the players don't get it. They don't get the passion. They don't get what it means. That they, they, they have bottled it. They have bottled it. Bottled it. And it's funny how, though, when Rangers lose and they bottle things and they don't get the results, <laughs> there's no mentions of conspiracies. There's no mentions of referees. There, there, there's nothing. There's, there's no mention of anything when Rangers get beat, which is quite funny, guys. But anyway... Your thoughts down below. We'll be back soon with some more content and peace.